Uh, here's the moment it all happened. Monk heads up to the right side of the floor. Crosses, leaner in the paint. Too strong, no good. Curry has the rebound. Sabonis on the floor, and he just got stomped on by Green, and a foul was called, and that may warrant an ejection. There was nothing subtle about that. He went to the floor, and Green in the tangle, it appeared to me like he just, I said stomped, in the, and until I see a replay, I'm going to stick with that for the moment. But Sabonis is still down. wonder if you'll be able to hear the crowd reaction when they show the replay while G-Man's talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I imagine. Oh, yeah. Waiting to see if we get a chance to see what transpired here. Draymond jumped. Oh, yeah. He jumped and he used, he landed on the left foot and he used the right to hammer it into the chest. And Zach Zyber called him immediately. Officials are huddling here. Sabonis is still on the floor, and he is in a lot of pain. We talk about the punishment he takes. Well, that is about as blatant as it gets. And Henry, he took a stomp right in the rib cage. You know, G-Man, I can't say what I want to say on air, but that's some straight bull. <laughs> that's bull with a capital B-L-L. Oh. That's bull. That's That has to be an ejection. It has to be. I cannot believe that they would let anyone play after this. And believe me, I have no problem saying it, G-Man. If it was me, I would be standing outside the Warriors locker room right now. Hmm. Tell him. Henry wanted to go. Tell him, Henry. Yeah, he was like, that was Bush League. You just don't, I mean, it was bad. Every level. You tell him, Hank. <laughs> I fly yourself right over there. <laughs> I, I, you and I are talking. Yeah, during the break, I won't, I won't. I won't mention the names I brought up because it doesn't really matter. But somebody had flown off the bench and tackled Draymond after that mm. stomp. They would never have to buy a beer in this town again. Right. That's not me encouraging it. That's right. not me. I'm glad. I'm very, very glad that didn't happen. But I'll never forget Will Clark getting double teamed by Ozzy Smith and Jose Akendo at second base after a rough slide, and Candy Maldonado just absolutely trucked Ozzy Smith and. You know, he got thrown out, this and that, whatever. But that was just so egregious by Draymond Green. And he talked about how he was a victim last night. I freeze, just watch it. I got to land my foot somewhere. And I'm not the most flexible person, so it's not stretching that far. So you didn't really see where you were stepping? You just kind of... I, I can only step so far and pulling my leg away. So what was it is what it is. What was the explanation they give, I know they gave him a technical, then obviously you. <clears throat> the explanation was I stumped too hard. You said two times you've been held with Sabonis, both times? No, it was Monk last game, uh, right on the baseline under the rim. So either you're going to stop it. Um, John Goble was looking at Monk hold my leg the last game, and he just let it go. And Zach clearly was watching my leg get held this game and let it go. So. I guess ankle grabbing is okay. Mm. Yeah, you're such a victim. Here's DeMontis. Uh, you know, um, I love the competition. I love the playoffs. You know, the challenge I'm taking on the Warriors. Uh, you know, I got hit earlier in, in, in the game in the jaw there. So when I fell, you know, I was kind of protecting myself. And then obviously that didn't happen. And I feel like um, there's no there's no rule for that. Wow. That, 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 uh, that dirty DeMontis Sabonis, you know. So dirty. Uh, expectedly, uh, Draymond's teammates had his back. Here's Steph Curry. Uh, what did you think about, did you see the, the Sabonis Draymond thing? Uh, and did that change the dynamic of the game at all? Did that change like what you were feeling, what the, what the team was feeling? I didn't, I didn't see it happen live. I got a rebound. I was headed down the other way. Um, I know he grabbed his foot and... I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation. Yeah. Uh, let me help you out, by the way, uh, Steph. Not stomp right. full speed on a guy's chest. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just that, that's it. That's what you don't do. You don't do. All right. Back to you, Steph. Obviously, finished the rest of the game. So, I know he's a tough guy, but I'm sure he's going to be all right. But it's just a matter of, you know, we after that, we, we tied the game with whatever was five minutes left, three, four minutes left. He goes on to analyze the yeah. game. So, there's that. Here's, uh, Clay Thompson 
a little more vociferous talking about Draymond's ejection. Clay, what was your view of the Draymond Sabonis incident uh, and just the, the, the way the crowd was getting into it? Draymond obviously was, was egging them on. Did that change anything? Did they change anything, the dynamic? I mean, what are you going to do when someone grabs your foot when you're running full speed? Like, that's a dirty – I mean, just fully grabs your foot and yanks on you. That's not cool, man. I'm not saying – what Draymond did was right, but like, can't just grab somebody's foot when they're taking off in a full sprint. That's not, that's not cool. I don't do that. Like we are, I mean, that's crazy. You know, just statistically, I saw the graphic come up after. So it's seven minutes to go basically in the yeah. game, anybody's game at that point. After that, the Kings scored 23 points, went 10 of 15, um, and really. I think there was an immediate surge for the Warriors because if you remember the situation, Dave, yes. you were there. The Steph makes his technical. Yep. So you're like, all right, that's fine. You know, it's too bad they get a point, but you know, Sabonis going to line yeah. for two. Missed the first, the second one was almost. Not even, oh, it was. Oh, you were. Yeah, it's like ah, oh, first one was long. All right, second one, you're like oh no, and he barely grazed the rim. So you feel like now you're losing some momentum. The Warriors did ultimately tie it, but uh, at the end, the Kings finished strong, and you know, Looney was in foul trouble. Draymond, that, that's the other thing about this series. Again, it's two games. Things can change, and that, I think everybody needs to realize that, how quickly it can change. But another observation I would say that has hit me watching the Warriors for two games, they have lost so much valuable depth. Yeah. Otto Porter's not yep, there. The Elites right. is not there. Guys from the past. Iguodala's hurt. Last night when they were in foul trouble, they went to Moses Moody. And not, I'm not mm -hmm. saying he can't play, but like I, I feel like have they given up on Kaminga? Where was this dual timeline of Wiseman, Kaminga, Moody Woof. while they've got these guys? And um, they kind of lost even Chenzo a little bit by going to Wiggins in the starting lineup. Pool, the bench has been the Kings. The Kings bench has clearly outperformed the Warriors. Is Jordan Poole's issue more the ankle right now or – what is going they, on there? Uh, it was somebody, and you know, whatever, but I forget who it was on the Warriors that said Jordan's playing on like half an ankle right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have to feel like, you know, I'm not trying to take credit away from the Kings or anything. I have to feel like the ankle bothered him last night. 16 minutes, he was one of seven. I mean, he boards. would not drive to the basket. No, nah, and I think that's the problem. Uh, and he's not a defender. So no. if he's not scoring for you, uh -uh. it just thins them out. And obviously their starters are great. They are. Sure. But you had foul issues with Looney, foul issues, and then an ejection with Draymond. Um, they got thin, and they don't have a very uh, – they don't have a paint presence. They can still play physically, right. but they don't – this is, you know, as much as we say careful what you wish for, is this the team the Kings really wanted to play? Well, what do we see during the regular season? Long, athletic wings? Yeah. They're, they're decent athletes, but they don't have that 6'9 wing defender no. that or that they utilize no. that much and a huge rim protector. The Kings have been able to – do some things and play at that pace that have helped them get up too well. Honestly, as we break, I'm looking at the box score here just to look at their bench. I, I see, I'm i seeing Andrew Wiggins, 9 of 19. I, I don't know if you guys felt like this. That actually shocks me. I thought he was 19 of 19. I swear to God. Was like this it, game one or game two? This is uh, game two, as okay. a matter of fact. Yeah. I, it just seemed... It seemed like every shot Andrew Wiggins took, he made at some point. We to the point where we had a thing where we were going Wiggins <laughs> every time he'd make a shot. It just he he just seemed to kill them. I'm yeah. surprised he was nine to nineteen. We'll take a break when we come back. All right, after two, let's look at this series. Just a third time, the Kings have been up two zero in a playoff series mm -hmm. since 1985. We'll give you some history here, Robert. I see you on the phone. We'll get to you first in one eight hundred nine two zero eleven forty. If you want to join Robert, we're right back.